Now I'm going to show you how to use THC Hydra. First, we're looking at a machine that is a vulnerable SSH, a virtual machine that I have configured as a target. And this happens to be running OWASP Broken Web Applications apps. And it's serving as a vulnerable target for us. And so you can see that I happen to be in this virtual machine, logged in as root. Now I've switched over to a different virtual machine. This is a Kali Linux box. And I have Hydra running on this box. And I'll be using THC Hydra to conduct an SSH brute force attack against the other Linux machine. Now here you can see, if you run Hydra, you can see the various switches and arguments. Now I have created a password list that is used for an argument and input as a list of passwords as part of the brute force attack. So let's go ahead and take a look at this password list and I'll even modify it and add a few extra passwords in it. So you can see I only have a few here. I'm not trying to run an exhaustive test. I happen to know what the username and password is, but you could use dictionaries and other sources for more comprehensive types of data sets. The intent here is just to show you how the tool works. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'll go back to the command line and I'll run Hydra. I'll run it as root. So dash L, root, dash P, the pass list that I just created, and the IP address of the SSH target. And then it will begin the attack. So I'll go ahead and choose enter. You can see very quickly, it has identified the login of root and password of OWASP BWA. Now, of course, there are only several passwords to run through. And in most circumstances, this would take longer. And so I'm going to go ahead and try to SSH into that machine using these newfound credentials. So I'll enter in the password that was identified through the brute force attack. Choose enter. And you can see that I'm logged in as root in the target Linux machine. So SSH has been cracked.